Good evening, everyone. I'm Archit Sashadri. Today is Monday, July the 11th. This is We On. Let's take a look at your top stories this hour. This just in, Andrea Leitzem pulls out of the Conservative Party leadership race in the UK. Theresa May is all set to take over from David Cameron, who scheduled a step down later on this year. India asks Pakistan to worry more about rights violation in its own soil. India's junior minister for internal affairs wants Islamabad to stop meddling in India's affairs. Islamabad condemned the killing of a militant, which brought Srinagar, the summer capital, to the brinks. 22 people died in violence and more than 100 security personnel were hurt. Flash floods triggered by heavy rains killed at least 22 people in India. This in the central state of Madhya Pradesh. 70,000 people were left homeless. Floodwaters rose to dangerous levels along parts of the Narmada, the longest river in the province. Forecasters are predicting for more downpour in the coming days. Fresh fighting erupts in Sudan between rebels and forces loyal to President Kiir. Scores of people were killed in fighting that began Thursday between Kiir loyalists and rebel leader Machar. Now, meanwhile, the UN Security Council is calling on both factions to end the fighting. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe orders a new round of fiscal stimulus spending after a crushing election victory over the weekend. The package is likely to help overcome a consistently weak corporate investment. And now to sports, Maria Sharapova will miss the Rio Olympic Games as her doping appeal has been postponed till September. The Russian player was given a two-year suspension back in June after testing positive for a banned substance. Sharapova did admit to violating the anti-doping rules but it asked for a hearing before an independent tribunal. That is our bulletin for right now. We'll keep you updated with news from across the globe. Just check our mobile, digital, and social media platforms. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day.